Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today, guys, I'm, I'm going to be showing you not one, not two, but three different ways you guys can get paid apps for free. So before I start the video off, guys, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you're new, support the 170 and subscribe. So before I jump directly off inside of this video, guys, can you please take a look at my thumbnail and tell me, guys, what you think about that? I'm going to try a new style with my thumbnails, because a lot of people were saying my old ones are crap, which I kind of agree they were. I didn't put that much effort into it, but my current thumbnail I have on, I'm going to try and put a lot of effort to it. I mean, I'm even using MLab font text that I'm custom making. So I'm trying to put a lot of effort into it to make it actually look pretty good. So that's going to be basically about it. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video, guys. Oh, yeah. Wait, nope. I lied. Sorry. The, um when an app get when you try to download the app and if it says that it's not able to install at this time what that means is that means it's been revoked a lot of you guys don't understand that and you think that the video is fake or you start yelling at me in the comments and I won't respond because I don't like negativity so that honestly honest to god that means it's been revoked uh what apple can do is when there's a certificate the basically a certificate is what you're going to need to install a third party app third party means not from the app store on your on your ios device without a jailbreak without a computer and without paying for it, it has to be signed and apple at any given moment can sign i uh, can unsign it for no reason at all guys so that is one of the things we're going to have to put up with so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and meet you guys over on, on my iPhone now. And I'm going to show you guys all three ways you can get paid apps for free now. Alright guys, I'm on my iPhone as you guys can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I'm not jailbroken at the moment. So that circle in the center means I'm not jailbroken. If I go ahead and open up Cydia, as you guys can see, Cydia is crashing. So I'm not jailbroken at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is which is one you should all know about, which is uh, Tutu, the English version. I'm also going to be going to a differently signed, uh, different one. It's in a different language, and it even has a different layout and more apps to get for free. Because for some reason, I don't know why Tutu did this. I didn't ask him why because it didn't really matter that much. But the English and Chinese one are both extremely, extremely different. So when you download that app, after you download it, it'll ask you to sign it. You guys are going to open up the settings, go to General, scroll all the way down to the bottom to Profiles Device Management, scroll down from there, find the Enterprise app, and go ahead and hit Trust on it. As you can see, I found it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Trust on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So here's Tutu right here, guys. Go ahead and hit yes on notifications. Then he'll go ahead and hit start now. And then on the search bar, as you guys can see, there's Bully right there. A lot of you have been asking me about Bully. And then there's some more paid apps right here. I'm just going to try and do something simple. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do Metal Slug. Metal Slug is a good game. And it seems like they don't have Metal Slug, but don't worry, guys. My third one, third and final one, which I'll be showing you at the end of the video, does have Metal Slug and other paid apps. So if I just go ahead and type in something simple like Minecraft, there it is. I'm going to do plug for Minecraft PE. I'm pretty sure that's an actual paid app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Click download. This one's already downloading pretty quickly. So if I go ahead and go over to my manager now and then wait and it'll ask you to install without me even having to do anything, which is I think is really nice. So as you see, while that's downloading, one of the things you guys are going to do is go ahead and go to Manager, you press and hold and hit Delete Package. Otherwise, then that will continue to take up space on your device, guys. And uh, there we go. As you can see, it is installed, but we have to trust this one, too. This is why I'm using two different tutus right here is because they're all under different Enterprise apps. So here's that one. If I go ahead and hit trust, trust again, as you can see, it's going to start working. If I go ahead and open up the app now, as you guys can see, it's going to load up perfectly fine. Now, Tutu did put ads inside of all of their apps, so then they can make a little bit of more money, guys. So there's really no big deal in there. So if I go ahead and move on to the second one, which is the Chinese one, what you guys are going to want to do is go to the other link inside of the description, uh, majed9.com, and then a bunch of stuff at the end of it. So you're going to scroll down until you see a red text and you see a gray button on it. You're going to click that gray button. It should turn green. And a couple of seconds later, it'll ask you to install the app. Go ahead and hit install. Now, the thing about this app, guys, is uh, a lot of times when you actually download download it it won't even tell you it's installing it won't show up on the main on the home screen until it's done so you're going to keep your phone on make sure it doesn't go to auto lock or whatever it's called because I, I always have that off and then go ahead and just wait for it to download so you guys are going to go ahead and trust the app by going to settings general profiles of management and then there and signing it 
or trusting technically go ahead hit yes for notifications just continuously slide all the way over guys if we go ahead and slide over to the right and hit bt once you guys hit bt these are all modded apps right here guys all of those have free, uh, technically i guess you can call them free app purchases i don't really like calling them that so if we go ahead and search up minecraft as you guys can see there's minecraft so i can go ahead and hit install in there i mean as you can see even a bunch of more apps showed up than the other two two did so that's what I was talking about when I said that there's more apps. So I did have some huge trouble installing this one. It seems like they don't have a download manager in this version of 2.2 like the English one does. So when I hit download, I actually started spamming it. And then my dev device started lagging. The app started lagging. I ran into a bunch of problems. But uh, this one's like really glitchy. I don't really know why. It seems like it was downloading it, but it wasn't telling me. So in a few seconds, it's actually going to start. As you can see, there we go. It finally asked me to install it. I don't know what that was about. And then it installs by itself. Now, the install took a really long time. It took quite a few minutes. I don't know what was going wrong with it. But, um, yeah, I think it actually took, like, I want to say a good four minutes for Minecraft to install, which is, like, insane. I don't know why I was doing that. Like, not the downloading part. The downloading part went fast by uh, went by really fast. It was the installing part that literally took minutes to do. It was insane. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward through all of this for you guys. All right, guys. So it has just about finished, and if we go ahead and open it up, as you see, I didn't have to trust it this time. The reasoning for that is because we already trusted it, guys, with the other two two. So as you see, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Um, the app is already working and then there's the ads I was telling you guys about earlier for those of you that actually do remember and then right here you guys would want to trust it like in case each if in case if the English one doesn't work the Chinese one should you'd have to trust it from there so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the third and final one guys this one is an old one that most of you should actually know about and they actually have bully on there I actually tried clicking it and then I ran into a bunch of other problems So I'm just going to go ahead and search up an app now. So there's Bully right there, but I, I, it kind of lagged on me a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Metal Slug. I love Metal Slug. It's a good game. Really fun. So if I go ahead and type that, and you're going to have to actually hit the search icon. You can't hit enter. You have to, search, you have to hit the magnifying glass to search. And, in, and if you guys look, you'll see a Y, which I believe stands for Yen. Uh, I hope I'm correct. I could be wrong about that, guys. Don't take my word on that. So I know for a fact that little green part though should be how much it cost, and then it even shows the size and everything else. So if you want to download, you're going to hit that blue button that's towards the right, and then hit install, guys. And as you guys can see, Metal Slug is already installing. This is the app. Um, this is the one where they used to get GBA for iOS signed from, but then 2.2 started signing a bunch of other apps. I mean, they even took requests. I was the one that even tried to get them to sign uh air show which is really nice of them to actually go ahead and do that so uh, there was a problem with this app once it got done downloading and i actually trusted it actually crashed but then i tested it with another app off camera from this site and it did work perfectly fine guys so i'm guessing that this app just has some type of sandbox error or something along the lines of that so this one actually downloads a lot faster than the other two. This one actually has really good downloading servers, which is something important to have. So uh, the reason why I did two two twos, in case you guys were asking, is because uh, the English one and the Chinese one both have a different enterprise app. But on the inside apps, they are both signed under the same enterprise certificate, guys. So that is why I wanted to do it. In case one of one or the other stops working, you can always switch around. So as you can see, Metal Slug got done. It's going to ask me to trust it, so I can go ahead and hit the settings. I'm going to go ahead and go to Generals, all that other stuff. And then I'm going to go find the Enterprise Certificate, hit Trust, and there we go. It is trusted, of course, guys. So that's basically just about it for this video, guys. Please don't forget to take a look at my thumbnail and tell me in the description what you think about it. I spent a lot of time making it. I used an inspiration from a different thumbnail that I found online. Use that one for inspiration. I didn't want to copy it directly, so I just copied it a little bit. But that's basically just about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.